The Gateway has stood the tests of time. It has seen great wars, sieges of York and was even host to the heads of traitors. Nowadays, people can walk under, over and even inside the archway on their way around the walls as they soak up the history of the city. Bootham Bar is one of the main bars at uh, entrance gates into the city. Effectively, it was part of the Roman defences originally and when the Romans came in roughly 71 to 74 AD, they built the walls and built a bar. Effectively, over the years, in medieval times, the Roman walls disappeared, were built on, covered over in grass, etc. Effectively, now we're left with city walls that are mainly medieval and Victorian. This bar itself has medieval, it's a medieval bar with Roman roots, effectively, Roman foundations. This portcullis is permanently fixed now, and this is one of the ways that prevented people entering the city, especially marauding Scots. That's what we were worried about. But one thing is missing. York Heritage Group are hoping to get the portcullis, which was a vital part in keeping invaders out of the city, back up and running. The wooden gate hasn't been lowered in more than 60 years. So how will this happen? I have been promoting the walls because I lived in the city all my life. Uh, I love the history of the walls, love the history of the city. And probably about 10 years ago I started really looking at the walls and saying what was what was happening about them, what, what wasn't happening about them. They would just seem to be a tourist attraction without locals getting involved in them at all. And now we have committed one and a half million pounds over the next five years to, to making sure that the walls stay upright, making sure the walls don't fall down. So now we're looking at trying to actually um, encourage engineers, the city council, to actually open these uh, uh, bars in terms of dropping the portcullis, lowering the portcullises and, and raising them again. If, with a note to health and safety, doing it properly. This one probably won't be the one that we start off with, it will probably be the one in that one bar. And they don't just want to stop there. The end game is You'll never get to the end, effectively. Uh, the walls are around about two and a half miles uh, long. Uh, they've got lots of things to do, lots of ambitions that we need to achieve. Just part of it is looking at the portcullises, looking at the history, seeing whether we can get uh, more people onto the walls, appreciating the walls, get more people locally on the walls to do, uh, to do uh, I don't know, there could be art work promoted on the walls, there could be Sculpture Park, for instance, Lord Mayor's Walk, could be a pocket park, it could be a little urban oasis, as well as the rest of the uh, ramparts around the city. It's absolutely fantastic and the community needs to embrace the walls and the ramparts and get involved with it. With a lot of work to be done, the race is on to raise enough cash to bring this archway back to its former glory. Abby Walker, That's TV.